He lives. We know we can face tomorrow. Because he lives. All fear is gone. That's what the hymn writer says. Because I know who holds the future. And life is worth living just because he lives. Jesus holds my future. What about you? Because he lives. Life is worth living. Somebody feeling depressed. Somebody feeling like what's the essence of going on with life? Look, because Jesus lives, you can face tomorrow. It is only when your life is not in his hand that you miss it. He doesn't want you to miss it. There's a great and glorious reason for you to be alive. Something beautiful is waiting for you. On the other side of the challenge that you're going through right now is a beautiful testimony. So don't let it die. Don't let the enemy deceive you. There's hope for tomorrow. There's a great reason for which you should be alive. You're somebody great. The word of God says, and this is the will of God. He said, it is not his will that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Sometimes it's because of the kind of life we live that we live. We feel so awful. And then he says, my plans for you are good, not evil. Plans to bring you to your expected end. And beloved, you will get there in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God has something beautiful and I sense the glory of God, the spirit of God getting across to somebody wherever you're viewing this all over the world, in the UK, in the US, in France, in, in, in South Africa, in Togo, Mali, Burkina Faso, wherever, Afghanistan, Pakistan, India, the glory of God is coming upon you in Jesus' name. We have been dwelling on the word of God in the book of Romans chapter number 8 and it's been quite amazing and we want to see a verse of scripture or two again. Romans chapter number 8, now we're reading verse number 16. It says, the spirit that testify together with our spirit, the spirit himself rather, the spirit himself toss testifies together with our spirit assuring us that we are children of God. You see, when your life is in the hand of God, the spirit does something. He testifies. He tells you on the inside that you're a child of God, that you're not ordinary, that there's something extraordinary about you. Now, when you have received the Lord Jesus into your life, the spirit of God comes in and that's what testifies. That's what gives you the confidence that you are a child of God. Beloved, if you have given your life to Christ, don't let anybody tell you any other thing. Stand on the word of God. Stand on the promises of God. You see, to be a child of God is not by your own actions. It's not by your own abilities. It's by the spirit of God. And look at what the scripture says. It's just so amazing. You know, you know in the book of Ephesians chapter number 2, it tells us, it's by grace are you saved through faith. It is by grace. Beloved, it is by grace. Jesus has paid the price. He died on the cross. He's the one who went through the horrible experience just to give you an eye life. 
and he said it's abundant life. Life that has no unnecessary limitation. Life that gives you wonderful promise here on earth and beyond causes you to live eternally. It says, the Spirit himself does testify together with our spirit assuring us that we are children of God. The Spirit of God testifies. He is assuring you. Now somebody you're feeling condemned in this same chapter, verse 1, he says, it, it makes us to understand this. Now, if, if you are in Christ, you're not supposed to have that condemnation. Look at what it says. There is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after or according to the flesh, but after the Spirit. That's New King James Version. This, this, there's therefore now no condemnation. Now, if you're giving your life to Jesus, there's therefore no condemnation. Now, no condemnation to them that are in Christ. You see, people feel condemned in their heart because they've not given their life to Jesus. See, I can talk about this again and again and again. There's nothing greater than the life that you live in Christ Jesus. There's no message greater than this. There's no better news. This is the good news. This is the glad tidings that Jesus came, died on the cross, shed his blood for the forgiveness of our sins, and he rose again to give us eternal life. And he has given us beautiful, glorious life. Beloved, that life is yours. All you just need to do is receive it. Why don't you receive it right now and say, Lord Jesus, come on, go ahead. Say, Lord Jesus, take over my life. Help me know the life in you, the life in Christ Jesus. Help me live the victorious life. I don't want to struggle. I don't want to be in bondage. I want to live with absolute redemption, assurance, knowing by the, your spirit that I belong to you. Lord, your word says, now therefore no more condemnation. I reject condemnation and I receive life. Be my Lord today and always. I receive you again and I will dedicate my life again and again. Reign in me. Have your way. Thank you, Lord, for answering my prayers. In Jesus' name. Amen. I believe when you pray like that, something happens to you. I believe when you ask Him, the Bible says, everyone that asks get, receive. Everyone that sleeps, find. Everyone who knocks on the door, it is open to them. And if you would always ask Him, you will see. If you seek Him, you will find. And if you will not, He's going to open to you. Besides, He's the one who actually stands on the door to knock. He said, if you hear my voice and open the door, I will come in. And guess what He said to you? I will sup with you. You know, it's a wonderful life. Glorious life. Live the life, the God life, and you have no regret. Thank you for being part of the broadcast today. I pray God's blessing upon your body, your soul, and your spirit. In Jesus' name, till I come your way again, this is Eagle Lewis, Eagle Lewis. God bless you.